How awesome would it be if Jesus transformed your life so much that people looked on and said, I want what you've got. That's what's supposed to happen. And it's what Paul is talking about in Romans 11. He's hoping that the Gentile believers will live in such a way that Israel will take notice and return to God through Christ. He says he wants the people of Israel to be jealous of what the Gentiles have, which is ultimately Christ. He doesn't want the Gentile believers to get proud, selfish, or think they're better than those who aren't following Christ. Their lives are supposed to be like a light, burning brightly, attracting people from the darkness and drawing them back into relationship with God. In John 15, Jesus talks about how he's like a vine and we are the branches connected into him, the vine. So long as the branches are connected into the vine, then those branches will bear fruit. But if a branch gets broken out of the vine, then it's good for nothing. Jesus challenges us to keep close to him, to spend time with him, to listen to what he's saying, to be courageously obedient. Then our lives will bear the fruit of love and joy and peace and patience, goodness, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness and self-control, to name just a few things. And if we live like this with the help of Christ, even in the face of difficult times, people will take notice. People might ask, how can you be like this? I need what you've got. May God help us to draw closer to him each and every day. May God transform our lives so that we positively impact the people around us, that we live a head-turning, deliberately different life. May God draw others to himself through our example as they realise for themselves that Jesus is what they truly need. God bless you.